Again today um, I was asking that what do you mean by word called Dhamar Kaban incident? Hold on the camera. Ah, yeah, there you go. And this is also um 16 number 900 video editing as you can see right there. Uh, let me show you video 1600 by 900 60 fps at 100 quality percent plus in a bandy cut i'm going to add the video editing up to 1440p instead i'm going to add up to 1080p maximum or 720p because this is 600 by 900 video so yeah as i was saying what the hell is the damar kaban incident let's see oh, well, what is it actually let's go and see what happens so as you can see right there, this is called the Damar Kaban incident. I also turned on the camera I said how bold I am. But I kind of cut my hand because this is because of stupid worm and global warming. So you better be careful. And it is here, this is called the Damar Kaban incident. Let's see what should he do. Uh, I want to watch this one. And also, um, before I start the video, pause it. Yeah, as I was saying, before I start the video, I mostly recommend not to watch the video if you're too young because this is graphical. 100% graphical in words and speech and even show sometimes sort of the picture so don't watch it I swear to god man everyone got scared by watching this so I mostly rather not I'm a Muslim so nothing would happen like Russian experiment technology are ass man I mean like because of that people would die of course because of protein reactor or some sort let's see and bring some clues about what's going on three two one go before the video starts, I'm really excited to announce that I finally have my own merch. Yeah, whatever. I also have merch. But well, actually, this is not merch. God damn it! Oh, I'm not even famous. Let's see. Always drawn me to this mystery. Yeah. Is its uniqueness, as I always thought nothing. Hold on, let me just decrease the volume a bit. That's so you can hear me. Like it could ever happen again. But little did I know. It already has. Yeah. I mean, what the fuck is this? The Dhammar Kaban incident. I'm like, this is scary. I'm not. I'm taking very seriously. I'm just thinking, what? What do you mean by Dhammar Kaban incident? Oh, it's Kamar Dhammar incident. God damn it! Ah. Anyway, sorry for that, guys. I'm very sorry. I didn't know what to mean by Dhammar incident. This is Kamar Dhammar incident. This is completely mysterious. Like, how did this happen? Let's see. It was August 9th, 1993. It is from 1993. I think there's some mystery in there that is still unsolved in today video. And we're bringing some clues about what's going on. As a group of Ukrainian kayakers, a young lady wandering nah, that must skip this. hadn't been mountains. That was so traumatic that it left Valentina in a state of shock for years and caused the disappearance of her entire crew. Well, the story is as strange and disturbing as it gets. See? It says disturbing. Even even saying this one. <laughs> would be found lost in the woods. A four-year-old Rabapanov. And of course, Valentina Yudachenko. They were all well-trained and experienced hikers. Hmm, and okay. the group was led by 41-year-old Ludomia Korovina, an internationally renowned master. In man, that looks like the regular regime of the consul, man. <laughs> the head and the... That looks same. That looks same as the Half-Life to Beta character, the consul. And hold on, give me a second. Anyways, we're here now. Let's see. Dense knowledge of the area. They were a well-prepared and run group. Okay. And the Kamar Daban Mountains were not That's viewed fine. as being dangerous. Yeah. Especially in the middle of summer. Yeah. The general area was a popular tourist attraction. And when Ludomia's crew set out on the morning of August, the weather forecast had predicted clear skies for the majority of the trek, making the conditions perfect for a hike. However, the forecast couldn't have been more wrong. Oh no. It is on and no. off spouts of freezing rain poured down upon God the group. Damn it and predicted an oncoming snowstorm as the group climbed the Kanulu Mountain. And by August 4th, the snowstorm was in full effect, pummeling the exhausted hikers and forcing them to reroute and miss their connection with Natalia's group. Drained of energy, Ludomia would make the call to set up camp near the top of a clear summit and rest for the night. Okay. A move that to this day is still questioned 
as the hikers were merely half an hour away from a shelter that stood on top of that very mountain. But nevertheless, they would spend the night there, and they waited for the morning. The sun would rise the next day. Just minutes into their descent, Alexander Creaston would begin to stumble. The man considered to be the strongest of the group would fall to the ground as his mouth began to fill with foam. Blood would rush out of his ears and his nose as he laid there seizing violently in front of his group. The hikers stood there stunned. Creason was in perfect health and just minutes ago he was fine. And now he laid in front of them, dying. They had been outside for mere minutes and already one of their crew members were down. Recognizing the severity of the situation, Ludomia knew that they had to react quickly. So she volunteered to stay behind with Alexander and appointed the two remaining boys, Dennis and Tamar, to lead the rest of the group on their descent to the forest. And so, the five hikers continued moving forward without their leader and their strongest member, trudging ahead in a state of shock and confusion. However, this descent wouldn't last long. As they walked out of sight of Ludomia and their that looks like air exchange, isn't it? Dying friend. Screams started ringing out from on top of the hill. It was Ludomia. They rushed back up to see what was the matter, only to find a disturbing scene. Alexander was lying there, dead. And Ludomia was dying too. Unable to move and on her last breath. To this day, it's still unclear what she died from with reports saying that she had suffered from the same mysterious illness that Alexander seemed to have, would quickly collapse on the ground, twitching violently and bleeding the same way that Creason had. They began tearing at their clothes, ripping them off and grabbing their necks as if they were being choked, all the whilst they desperately tried to gasp for air. Valentina rushed to help Victoria, but in an instant, the suffering girl would sink her teeth into Valentina, biting her and forcing her to back off. While this happened, Dennis started to run away from the group out of fear and confusion, having no idea what was happening to his friends or why. He could only watch as, one by one, with Dennis hiding from the group, Tatiana also began to tear her warm clothing off exposing her body to the freezing cold elements. She too grabbed for her throat and acted as if her own body was torturing her. Once on the ground, she would turn her attention to the rock that oh, lay next no. to her. No, come on, why the rock? You know, that's horrible, that's disgusting. And in an instant, she would begin to smash her head against it. Oh, that's disgusting, that is bad. Over and over again until oh. her body would go limp. In a matter of what must have felt like minutes, the group of seven had withered down to just two as the psychic minutes, though her body would go limp. In a matter of what must have felt like minutes, their what? mysterious symptoms, Dennis would emerge to help Valentina as the two were the only ones left who hadn't faltered. However, their health was starting to wither as well they remained in the forest, close to the site where their whole group had just died, unsure of what to do next. And I can't imagine the silence and the confusion they must have been experiencing as they stood there together after witnessing all their friends drop dead in front of them. Friends that a mere hour ago were in perfect health. And the stark fate wasn't quite finished with the group either. The only living member of the group. Completely traumatized and scared for her life, Valentina took supplies from the camp and proceeded to wander and found by the kayak. No, but you said was the no, I she received this. no guide. Party saw were saying it was a I It's a story that. that seemingly makes no sense in the matter of hikers. Few of the hikers' bodies were efficient trip. Right pointing to the idea that the group had not been eating enough throughout their trip. But the more I look into this, the less I believe that this is possible. Just looking over the symptoms... Wait, is it hypothermia? ...died of hypothermia and protein deficiency 
Oh, that's coming. Looking over the symptoms, this cause of death does explain some of their behaviors, such as the paradoxical undressing. However, it fails to explain them all. The biting, the banging of their heads against rocks, the foaming of the mouth, and the bleeding are all inconsistent with this conclusion. In addition, I find it strange that the hikers had perished a mere minute short period of time. How could hypothermia have set in so quickly? barely below freezing shape that each hiker died for three deficiency Valentina herself man why people are ideas the reason it affected the can cause hypothermia is because during cold it affects all your body if your body is cold then the hypothermia may occur because your proteins are also affected by cold it can cause protein deficiency or like protein depletion which can cause this or in my other, it can be like, hey, it's probably because of Russian ex tech secret experiment that can cause this damage, which is true. Let me show you. Hobbies, things like low frequency by scientists. Some are true. Let me show you. Oh. The way they did, as well as causing their bleeding and foaming of the mouth. Appled or dumped. See? And just look, it's possible. Look. Have caused the hikers to snap and act the Around this time, it's documented that they had a specific interest in deadly nerve agents. Many think it's possible that the Russians had been testing or even dumping their chemicals in the area. See, is this is why. I knew it. Stupid Russians, man. Where the hikers just happened to be. After all, in 1993, the Soviet Union was already disbanded. An event that caused thousands of these chemical weapons to go missing likely being sold or dumped. And just looking at the way the hikers had died, it seems like the best possibility for explaining how it happened so quickly. Now following this theory even more, the case gained virtually no media coverage besides for- See, this is it. And the rest of this are like explaining of the theory. So this is the end of the video, so bye bye.